صلي على محمد هذا ابو لبن شكرا جزيلا استاذ Um, can you be kind enough and then remind us the couple of the hadith where Muhammad is telling people who has got stomach ache to drink the camel urine because camel urine will do the healing for the stomach. Yes, Sahih Bukhari 5686. Lots and lots of hadiths. Some people came to Medina. They had stomach ache. Muhammad said, I know how to heal you. Drink camel urine and milk. But then he killed them anyway because that's what usually happens when you hang around Muhammad too long. They killed the shepherd and drove away the camels. So um, he killed them in a horrible way, cut their hands and feet, pierced their eyes with hot irons and left them in the desert to die of thirst and bleeding. Beautiful story. And what is the moral of that story? Is Muslims are like trying to get anything good, still practical from all, all this torture and depravity. So it must be that the camel urine is useful. Don't drink camel urine. You don't say. <laughs> Well, it's not only you, you don't say, you, it's like people wrote article about it. That's the World Health Organization for people who don't know. Do people drink it today? Yes, of course. Of course. Let's see, let's see, let's see. شوف هذا البول مع الحليب شفاء النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول بول ابن شفاء لكل امراض خاصه الفيروس الكبد والمرض اشتداد الكبد والمرض السرطان والانتهابات شوف بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وهذا هو سنه النبي عليه الصلاه والسلام We live in a world where people are like so much afraid of dying and in this part of the world, people don't have peace with God. So they are afraid of dying. Therefore, the moment when they are ill, they are desperate for any hope. When someone comes and then puts the name of Muhammad and then says, well, this is the medicine, people are going to buy it. They put science and logic higher than the Quran. For us Muslims, highest is the glorious Quran, followed by the authentic hadith especially Hadith of Sayyid Bukhari. The camel's urine can be used in treatment of cancer. If camel urine was really the cure for cancer, you think we'd still be here? Every doctor's prescription would have camel urine in it. It would be in every medicine. It can also be used as a treatment for hepatitis. What kind of medical doctor says hepatitis like that? Hepatitis has many types. This type A, this type B, this type C, this type B, which type? Cancer treatment, he said. Which cancer? There are thousands of cancers. And even within one cancer, there are different stages and different, different ways that one cancer is classified. No medical doctor would just say this one thing can just treat cancer. Which type? That, that's not how research works. Research is very specific. I just heard from a medical doctor which, who went against World Health Organization. While mm -hmm. World Health Organization says keep away from camel urine. A medical doctor is encouraging people to drink it. Mm. So it's potentially fatal. Dr. Zakarnag, do you know what fatal means? He wouldn't know. He's just a doctor sister. <laughs> if a doctor doesn't, mean what, doesn't know what fatal means, there's no hope. Fatal means it kills you. There was no hope when he started like, ans answering the question. It wasn't about the definition of the word sister. <laughs> Some poor people are going to watch this who are ill in the Muslim world and think, yeah, let me go drink. Yeah, and then they are going to get Ila, Ila, and Ila. And uh, guess, sister, the rich people in the Middle East, when they get sick, where do they go? They come to UK to the doctors. <laughs> they come to the Euro Europe or they go to the US. Why don't they go to the desert and find a camel, the nearest camel, and drink up if it's that great? Camel's urine, it makes the hair lustrous and thick and is also used in the prevention of dandruff. Well, those things already have treatments in the normal modern world that are quite cheap. It's not something that the world is still waiting for camel urine to solve. There's no need to smell like camel urine <laughs> to have your hair be nice. <laughs> I just remembered I washed my hair with the camel urine this morning. It just smells so <laughs> wonderful. Yeah, so you can, you can simply like buy it. Yeah. I want to buy camel urine. Please advise me how to purchase. Your website doesn't allow me to purchase. Someone like urgently needed. <laughs> See?
Would you look at the one underneath, Zaina? Please help me to deliver as soon as possible to cure a cancer patient. Yeah, I, I, people are desperate for it. Six dollars is like five pounds. You really think you can cure cancer for six dollars? Really? What are your thoughts that camel urine is similar to the water? Only in the universe that we don't live in is camel urine similar to water. Does it look like water to you? Does it smell like water to you? <laughs> Animals living in the most driest places, their bodies are created by God to concentrate the waste product so much to conserve water. Are you saying their urine equals water? What are these camels drinking then? Are they drinking their own uh, urine then since it's like water? I just want to gently encourage this person to come to the planet Earth. Okay, which whichever planet you live, move out from that planet. In the planet Earth, camel urine is not the same water. I mean, if you think camel urine is the same as water, you may as well think Muhammad is a prophet of God. If it's both the same to you. I mean, it's not surprising that these people are believe this man. If they think camel urine equals water, that means Muhammad equals good. You can't make this stuff up. The, you know what? They just make it up, sister. I just... But you can't. They did. You know what? If they hadn't followed Islam and Muhammad, they wouldn't be laughed at now in the 21st century. I tell you, that religion takes them to the absolute limit of ridiculousness, absurdity. That's Islam. It takes them to the bottom side of the camel. That's where Islam is taking you. People want healing. They should come to the real God, not to the backside of the camel, for goodness sake. This is where your Muhammad will lead you. The Lord Jesus Christ healed with a touch. He healed with a word. He did not send people to animal waste to get healed. Unclean people touched Lord Jesus Christ, become clean. Unwell people touched Lord Jesus Christ and they are healed. Blind people touched the Lord Jesus Christ. They saw, they start seeing. Paralyzed people... Jesus touched them, they were able to function. Give up ideology of Islam. Give up everything links with Islam. Run away from this camel urine, all that thing, and turn to Lord Jesus Christ, who is the living water, and you will be flourished by him.